So how you doing folks? As I said, it's, it's it's been a little bit because of finals and everything, but in between finals I was like sacrificing an hour or something of sleep so I can still kind of grind and so I get wouldn't fall too behind in this game because I've been waiting for this game for a while and it's amazing. I'm sure you all have been enjoying it. If you've been enjoying the game, drop something in the comments below on what you have been enjoying the most. The art, the music. I love the music. The music is incredible. Anyways, let's get on track with uh, just my simple, you know, here's a heads up, tips, you know, various different things. Let's just talk Genshin. Let's just talk it. All right. So first off, be prepared. The, the update, 1.1 update is coming on November 11th. Uh, there's also a 1.2 on December and a 1.3 in February. But the main thing right now, of course, to focus on is November 11th. Um, if you haven't already gotten your Barbara, which I'm sure most of you have, if you know you should have gotten to rank 20 by now. If you haven't, you got time. November 11th. Uh, it states on Forbes that a new event will launch called the Un Unreturned Star, but we don't know what that entails. So um, most likely, you know, just a brand new event in the store that we can uh, get some cool new goodies, new characters. Um, I, I know um, I'm aware a little bit of new characters coming. So that's kind of leads into one of my other uh, tips is to basically just if you have a current team right now that you're really comfortable with, like me right now, I'm comfortable with my team. I have no uh, real reason to actually push for any other members. Um, start saving up your um, just start saving up your gems, your uh, uh, primo gems, so that you can use it when an update comes on the new characters that'll be boosted in wishes. Just start stacking them up so this way, when it comes time, you know, to the new update, you can just slap a whole bunch of primo gems. You don't really have to spend money because you say that the whole, whole 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 bunch of gems. You know, it's sixteen hundred per wish, uh, per ten wishes. So um, just just do that. Just start saving them up. That's a you know big thing don't you know unless you're trying to use it for um you know some people like to use it to basically restock their uh, risen which i don't recommend because you know just do the dailies and do your daily amount you know if you're really trying to push hard then fine use your primo gems but i really don't recommend you use your gems i suggest you just wait for the 1.1 update in november so you can have a whole bunch of gems to use on wishes on the new stuff also start buffing up your statues of seven start finding all your animos and all your geo uh osuli so basically you can get that max stanima right now i have both my statue of seven basically maxed out at rank 10 so basically i have three stanima bars so i can run so i can run a lot i can swim a lot it's extremely convenient so there's a total of 66 animos and 131 geos so anytime you see uh you know the little the white little cross on your map definitely try to find some way to get it so this way you can increase your stanima bar um also heads up to help with that the folks over at map genie have created an online interactive map that you can use that uh, that you can use to pin down stuff you can use that other people have pinned down stuff people have already put down all the locations of chest all the locations of and all the animals and the geo ocelies uh all the locations of uh herbs and ma mass and materials you need for stuff or to send uh quest locations i mean this site is a gold mine and shout out to map genie and everyone over there for taking the time to just you know make this uh website interactive website for us it's a must go to abuse it i abuse it it's kind of one of the ways i was able to get around and find things also, do not forget to always do your dailies, your dailies, your dailies, your dailies. I know some of the stuff you may be redundant because you might have heard it from someone else's channel or you may be already doing it or you may not have heard it at all. Um, I'm doing this for one of my good friends and brother, Eric. Um, I mean, I know he knows some stuff already, but I won't. And he's wondering, like, how am I leveling up so fast my adventure, adventure rank? Well, this is how I'm doing it, brother. So anyway. Yes, always make sure you do your dailies. They give tons of uh, adventure XP and various other things. Also, make sure every after every eight dailies you do, you get a daily key of a story key. Eventually, and when you hit, I believe, adventure rank 32, you'll unlock to where you can actually do an extra story. Uh, but you need an, an actual daily key, and you get a daily key after every eight 
uh, deal as you do, you get a key. So make sure you're collecting these keys uh, so that eventually when it's time, you can use them. Abuse your adventure book and your battle pass. So, I mean, if you don't have the battle pass, uh, the domain, you know, I think they give you, actually, no, there's two different uh, prices. But um, if you can't afford it, then hey, you can't afford it. But if you can get the battle pass, because there's some great stuff in there that you get as you play, and it, it's just another way you can enjoy the game, you know what I mean? So, just do that. Abuse your adventure book because it shows you what bosses are available, it shows you what, you know, uh, what what dealers you can do uh, or also whatever uh, things you can do to earn more XP for your adventure rank so abuse your adventure book as well you next you need to be constantly cooking cook 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 get your cooking your chef hat on and constantly be cooking different meals D different meals do different things some he meals heal some meals will increase your stamina so if you're out there flying or you're out there swimming and your stamina is about to end you can there's certain food you can eat that would immediately increase your stamina so you can keep going um there is food that increases your crit rate your attack rate your defense and there's times when depending on what you eat it will actually save you from losing against a freaking world boss and it will almost carry you through a world boss depending on what, what you eat it's just way too powerful to not be doing so if you're not cooking you're wrong <laughs> definitely cook also the, the ingredients make sure you're going to di both different towns to basically go to the general goods stores they have a lot of the ingredients that you need so go to those stores and get those ingredients and also make sure you're cooking extra ingredients you need in the actual cook shop um, but definitely cook 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 also another tip for me directly is nighttime chest hunting so when you start looking for all your like common chest your exquisite chest and all your chests so you can get the chest achievement um, I find it um, it's chests are easy to see during the day of course but I think I find it even easier to see them at night so the common chests don't glow but then the certain chests that you basically have to battle or do some puzzle for they have the you know the little the little glow around them that at nighttime they even pop up and are even easier to see um, than ever. So if you're not already using an interactive map, you can just go ahead and use that. Take your time, uh, turn your time to nighttime, and this way you can actually see your chest even better. Or of course, if you're using an interactive map, then you can go off of that. But if you put, if you combine both, then it'd be really easy for you to go and run around collecting all the chests. Honestly though, realistically, you can be in a really high adventure rank level before you even touch most of the main story. I was a huge rank, adventure rank level before I touched most of the main story because I was doing these things we talked about. I was exploring, I was opening chests, I was, you know, fighting different uh, monsters and then dungeons and then all the, you know, all these different things. You know, also I opened up, you know, all the statues of the seven, you know, I went and got all those things. So I got max stamina. So by doing all these things, before you know it, and you're just constantly moving and using an interactive map website, before you know it, you're like, holy cow, man, I just jumped mad levels in adventure rank. Yeah, it, it, you'd be surprised when you're not focusing so much on the number and you're just trying to get these things done and open up all the teleport points and stuff like that, you'd be very surprised how much you will grow. And then of course, after you get to a little point to where you're like, okay, I'm tired of just going running around and collecting chests. I kind of, I'm a little bored of this right now. Then you go play a story mission and this way the story mission will kind of give you some little entertainment and stuff. And after you've done a story mission, then you go back to your grind and looking for more chests, you know, finishing your statues of seven and stuff like that. And this is how you mix it up and keep yourself entertained and not bored. Because again, I've the, in, in between school, I'll put some time in more time than I was surprised I was able to with finals week. <laughs> but these are the various things that I wanted to bring up, you know, and give you guys some little tips real quick. And just I love the game. The game is, is amazing. You know, now that I have some time back and actually I can actually stream back on Twitch for a little bit before next semester. <laughs> and, you know, I'll, I'll be streaming this game. So if you guys are already looking at streamers or something like that, come by, you know, come by, hang out and uh, and just hang out and let's and just talk. Let's talk. Let's talk about the love of the game and the art and the beautiful. I love the music. The game's music is just so good. Can we talk about the music? No. <laughs> anyway, folks, take care. Also, we, we got our Tokyo Treat uh, box for the month of October. So that'll be the next video upload that we and Tiffany did the unboxing for the Tokyo Treat box for October. So be looking out for that video, but take care folks. And uh, I'll see you soon. Kuba Magic out. Peace Magnet.
ぽぽくぽ。